and I'm showing up as an investor for the last 30 years, consultant for as many years, coaching businesses for the last 15 years. And I started a mentoring program about five years ago called Peers on Demand as a way to uh, connect with trusted advisors, leaders, be able to bubble up ideas and certainly do business, refer business to joint ventures. certainly understand the individual, like you mentioned, understand their values. And I go to certainly uh, maybe their identity, their values, their beliefs. And he went to the example of doing what many of us probably do, find out where they're strong and how important that is to them and be able to hone in on that. And in terms from a, a business standpoint, which is what I focus on, and I know that you do this that as well, Jeff, I focus more not so much on the individual person yet. I focus on the business direction or the role that they're playing in the business, where they want to take it from a leadership standpoint. And he mentioned the present to the future, and I like that. Some people like to go into the past. I don't. Uh, I don't go into the past until maybe later on. So I go start with the present. Where are you at now, and where? What does the the future look like? And I usually get a time frame, six months, a year, eighteen months to get an idea. And so what I'm looking for is more the value to them as to what it would mean to be able to reach that goal. And so if they say, I want to do this X, and I always want to make sure that it has some sort of definition, some, uh, some metrics about that, very specific, so that I can get a clear picture about that. And then I certainly want to find out the meaning. What would it mean to be able to achieve that or get that? So from a business standpoint, I look at those aspects because if it's a strong enough meaning, if there's enough clarity about the metrics, if I could understand it and perhaps I may be the right person or I may not be the right person to help them get there. But depending on that, I can understand the certainly the motivation to where they want to go, the criteria, and also the meaning of getting there. So. That's what I look for. Now, later on, obviously, uh, I'll engage in the individual because the individual also shows up. And um, But I distinguish that between business and the individual. Now, I, I will help the individual whenever I can to help them go through that because usually they have obstacles. They have challenges. They have something that's holding them back, either mentally or emotionally, or from a skill set. I thought, now, who do I know that perhaps we all know that's going through that experience, that's striving so hard and has difficulty letting go, excluding myself? So who do we know? And I thought, oh, Putin. Putin started this war. He's losing the war. Everybody knows he's losing the war. He's backing out and he's just not letting go. Now, there's been probably a lot of reasons for that, too. Uh, Zuckerberg has lost $800 billion in market valuation. And he's got this idea on the metaverse and he's just not letting it go. Elon Musk recently bought Twitter. Now, first, he didn't want to because he bid $44 billion, and then uh, uh, he wanted to back out. Now, he went through with it. I was totally surprised. Now, why does a man who's going to, the, to Mars has electrical cars? What are you messing around with Twitter? It's a social space. Of course, he came from PayPal. So... It, is he not letting go? So there is some interesting things that are going on that I could see that uh, and were I to coach them, if they would allow me to, of course, uh, I would certainly engage with that. Uh, when is good enough good enough? And that's probably the, the question. 
and I would probably get all kinds of answers. The letting go part has to do more with an emotional aspect. If, uh, if you strive and you fail, it depends how important that is. And there's always failure. There's a, always continuity or there's a learning lesson. But I think it has to do with the emotion as well. If you strive and for some reason that emotion was detrimental, then you have to let go of that emotion because the elite person will come back and continue to do that because they have the control there of their emotions to be able to continue doing until they can't get it wrong. But it's letting go of those things. I think uh, at some point it becomes uh, a survival thing, a lack mentality or an abundance mentality. And if we have an abundance mentality that we have enough, I think maybe at that stage, it's okay to let go. And it's okay also to come back, like I said, to strive again, continue again, live again, be that master that says, I want to continue until I don't get it wrong. And uh, so I'm testing that out, uh, but I'm still living this journey. I'm still alive. And so I'm going to see if that still works in my next time that I strive and I fail and do I really let it go? And one of the things that I really take away is the I love you and naming ourselves. I don't think I've ever done that uh, for myself. Very, very interesting, very touching and also very effective. And uh, I think that's one of the things I'll, I'll take with me and I'll have uh, clients, friends, family, do that and often.